Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after, get this, not being involved in any wars, if you can believe that. After years of constant warfare, it feels so bizarre sitting around twiddling my thumbs doing nothing and watching my realm prosper instead of swarming with angry, sweaty assassin dudes. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for China, who is currently dealing with a small problem of massive civil wars all over the place. Come on, China. Get your stuff together. Good grief. You're really impacting my bottom line. Unbelievable. So I've done some thinking, which I realize is dangerous, and I think that maybe we will actually wait for Hakim to come of age. Not because I actually want him to get married to my niece, which I kinda do, but that's only secondary. It's because I think having some time off will actually allow us to build up our forces and not have to rely on the angry sweaty assassins so much. We are currently working on our mansion, and I think that once we get some of these upgraded a little bit more, we'll see much bigger returns. Yeah. So, yeah, let's wait. A little bit. Not too long, though. So it's only, what, five years. Fantastic. In the meantime, we will watch over these dudes and make sure that they don't get pummeled. Yes. And, of course, continue to seduce my stepdaughter. Fantastic. Uh, I believe we have a trade post being built here. So once that's completed, we should hopefully have all of this kind of as our trade zone. Yeah, because right now this only combines... Combines? Combines Navasarika, Debul, and Goa. Um, but hopefully it'll include Coast of Malabar as well as the Karnataka Coast. But um, not the Gulf of Manar which we may want to invest in. That's a little expensive, though. Hmm. Where's the port? Okay, so there's the port. 464 buccaronis. Okay, so I guess going through uh, Sri Lanka would be a little bit cheaper. Gotcha. All right, well, something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, and we are currently making 39 buccaronis a month. Not bad. And of course, I'll continue to uh, seduce her. As I said, it's starting to sound like a broken record here. Excuse me, sir. How dare you not pay me for whatever it is that you needed to pay me for? Merchant Enclave. Fantastic. So, hmm. Merchant Port will increase the trade value. Uh, I guess that increases this? Yeah. Right, wait. Why is the thing in Mara so... Hold on. What's going on? Did I? Am I confused? I think I'm confused. Where's the coast of Mara? What are they talking about? Um, Mara. That's not there, is it? Hold on. I'm very lost. So Mara is... Oh, this one. Oops, my bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's one of those uh, basic uh, trade posts. That's why. And our trade post has been upgraded in Navasarika. Fantastic. And this one will come online in... How? Oh. May 20th. This year. Fantastic. Meet in my room, lady. You can cough all over me. Fantastic. And I'm now lustful. Great. So that should hopefully increase our fertility. Yes. Yes, it does. And now we are 120% fertility. Or half 20% fertility. So we're basically just walking, talking sperm. I love it. Do it again. Until you're pregnant. Fantastic. And speaking of your child, um, I've decided to name him... Let's go after... Or go for an oldie. Miwino. There you go. Welcome to the world, Miwino. Thankfully, her coughing is not evolved into anything else. Uh, quote that love poetry. And we can found that new kingdom, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. I want to see what we can do to maybe take this place, because if we destroy his family now, his three trade posts will be distributed amongst everyone but me, which is obviously a big no-no. If one of them or two of them happen to go to this guy, which I kind of doubt that it will, um, I think he might get one of them. Uh... Maybe we can destroy the other one, and then that'll just 
continuously bounce back and forth until it gets to this guy, and then we kill him. And then maybe we pray that we get this one? Huh. Not sure if that's really going to work out. And we can't attack our own uh, patrician families for this stuff, can we? No. All right, well, we'll have to think of something. Uh, trade post completed there, too. What? Wait, why is it saying owned by dash dash dash? Does it need some time to, um, figure out that it's in the coast of Malabar? Uh, let me just let some time pass. What? Why does it... I'm confused. Huh. Maybe it just needs some time, question mark. And I can now usurp the Emirate of Wag. Oh, I didn't realize that you had it. Um, okay. Let's see. Do we have any other duchies that are owned by other dudes? Let me just do a quick check. Uh... I don't, I'm not seeing any of the other Muslim uh, flags. Yeah, I guess we're okay. It's only Wag then. Alright, well, um... I mean, normally I would pass this opportunity and just let it explode. But the Abbasids are usually in constant warfare, so... Let's go ahead and take it. Sure. 138 bucks. Not bad, I guess. Not bad. Does that help with my... It doesn't help anything, does it? No, because once you're a Grand Duke, or you're a Grand Duke. Or Great Duke, rather. Sorry. Right. I mean, it does help with our prestige, because we have extra duchies and whatnot, but... Mm, still. Alright, well, that's fine. And we are now making 40 buckaronis a month. And this guy has decided to try to assassinate my John of the Forest. I don't think so, numbnuts. Fantastic. Well, let's put him in house arrest. I don't think I actually want him to die just yet. Or, wait, should we actually wait for him to uh, give birth to, to someone? Yes, maybe we should. Oh, shoot, then maybe I shouldn't have um let him go just yet. I guess we could humiliate him and reduce his general opinion. Or get him to convert to, to uh, Judaism, finally. But I think having him not of my religion actually helps him get assassinated. So let's keep this dynasty as is. Um, Maybe once you're a little bit older, I'd let you go. Yes. Because right now, we actually want these guys to um, claim some more territory, right? All right, you know what? How about you... Hmm... How long does this last for? 10 years? We could ransom him for 25 buccaronis, but I'd rather we just humiliate him. Sure. You order Tar uh, poured over patrician Hakim, after which he is rolled in feathers. Your guards laugh as they wheel him around the city, commoners and nobles alike sneer incredulously at patrician Hakim. What a display! Fantastic. Can he become stressed, humble, and shy? Um, he's become stressed, which, I mean, I guess the role has already been made. Gotcha. And our palace is now complete. So now we have... Yay! A trade post limit of 15. Fantastic. So, if we take Dofar, that'll make this place... Hmm, contested, which I guess wouldn't really help me out too much. Alright, so maybe we try to take the coast of Makran. Hmm... Otherwise... Oh, okay, good. So this is being built by someone else. Fantastic. So we'll take... The, oh, there we go. So it's finally been recognized. Yes. So, let's see. That is looking absolutely peachy. Then I'm thinking maybe we should try to go for one of these places and claim the uh, Gulf of Minar. That way we can uh, link it up with the Polk Strait. And perhaps continue it all the way over here. So this one will take... Uh, so let's not worry about the... North Coromandel Coast. So we should look into taking the coast of Orissa. I see. And that's owned by this guy. Well, I think he's let by uh, bygones be bygones, yes? Or I guess we could go with this one, since we already have a trade post in here. Hmm. How much would it cost? A fuck ton of money. Not sure if that's really worth it, but it could be. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how the uh, trade zone value actually takes effect. Okay, so it increases the trade posts and cities and the the value of those things. 
Right. Um... I am thoroughly confused, but what else is new, right? Okay, uh, so we'll wait for this guy to build up his trade post, and then we may go to war with him. I'm actually very tempted. He shouldn't be too difficult to fight, though his territory does include a trade post, so we have to make sure that this place doesn't get burned down. Uh, what else do I need to build right now besides my mansion stuff? Let's actually get the small stable. Yeah, we'll build that and... What else? I keep thinking that there's something that I need to uh, build towards in terms of um money. But there isn't really, is there? Oh, and she's pregnant. Fantastic. Huh. Uh, I guess maybe just upgrading the trade posts is kind of important. Making sure that we have a Silk Road trade post thing in every single one of them. Sure. Whoa! 45 buckaronis a month. Holy shit, how did that go up so quickly? Unfortunately, not a genius. Unacceptable, girl. Unacceptable. Alright, uh, let's have you go with Thrift. Thank you. Fantastic, and we will denounce him because he's not a genius. A well-dressed merchant has requested an audience. The man himself... Sorry, the man presents himself as Master Eldad Ben Jeremias. A representative of the Jewish Rad Knight merchants and implores, We are seeking to set up office in Navasarika, but lack the funds. If you would sponsor us, we would be eternally grateful. 638? Dude. I mean, I'd love to, but... Damn. Really? I mean, I guess we can borrow some money from the uh, Rad Knight merchants, but that's only 200. Come on, man. Ah, dude. You couldn't have done this sooner? When I had more money? You have to ask me now? Alright, so he wants to take over the city of Navasarika. Mm, which will then increase the city tax by 10% and trade value by 10. Uh, I'm not sure that's really worth it right now. I mean, I usually always go with this option to just uh, pay for the guy to... um you know, take over office. Hmm. But it will increase this. Hmm. Alright, let me borrow some money from the Arad Knight Merchants. So, we'll be in quite a bit of debt. But maybe we can... Well, just pray that nothing bad happens in the meantime. Oof. Big oof. That may not have been worth it. Who? Oh, right, right, with my, um... Um, alcoholic lover. Gotcha. Well, he's been denounced, because he's not a genius, so, um, try again, miss. Try again. And we are currently trying to seduce her. Alright, quote that love poetry. We might get a whole bunch of, uh... <coughs> Who? Who are you? Oh, you're this guy's, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, uh, let me come into your defense. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. Why was I not notified of this? Hold the fucking phone. What the hell? Why didn't you guys, guys tell me that I'm... That that guy's being attacked? Unacceptable. Wow. That's some baby back bullshit right there. Uh, let me not lead troops, thanks. I don't think that's really necessary right now. Alright, dude. I'm coming to uh, save you, and you're trying to kill John. Why are people just trying to kill John? Let me arrest your ass, and then we'll humiliate your ass. Enjoy, numbnuts. Fantastic. Or maybe I should have actually, um, ransomed him. Then we could have got some money, I suppose, but oh well. Who are you? Oh, okay. Special interest. What, you're notifying me about that nonsense, but not notifying me about uh, these guys getting, getting attacked and shit? Come on, what the hell is that nonsense? Go home, go home, and you guys can just travel the rest. Sure. Hmm, that's very annoying. Very, very annoying. Alright, there you go. Are you being attacked too? No, you're defending against them. Good. 100%. Fantastic. Trade post completed in... Chlamydia land, or whatever that place is called, I guess. And you're done.
Come on. Are you not done? We're at 100% war score. Dude, come on. The right of way. The port in Socotra is particularly busy today, but you have decided to take a small trip you know, on one of your uh, family's galleys and had have no intention of canceling your plans. Your captain skillfully guides the ship through the jumble of merchant vessels and towards the open sea. You have nearly left the harbor area when another galley of flying uh, kebidate uh, colors recklessly cuts in front of you. The two galleys collide with the sound of splintering wood, but with the exception of several broken oars, there doesn't seem to be any serious damage to either ship. From the deck of the kebidate galley, Patrician Hakim screams obscenities at you and accuses you of trying to ram a ship on purpose. He demands the right of way to leave the port before you. Mmm. Sink his precious ship. Yes. Ready for battle. And please don't die. Fantastic. There you go. I just saved your ass. The battle is joined. Your ship is ready for battle, and Patrician Hakim immediately responds in kind. Bowmen take a position at the railing, and hails of flaming arrows are soon exchanged between the ships. Nearby merchant vessels hurry to distance themselves from the duel, and as the furious battle continues, both galleys drift out of the harbor and far out to the sea. Or far out sea. To sea. The rigging of the Kebede galley has caught fire, but you have little time to celebrate this victory as your own ship is taking on water. A savage boarding action unfolds as both crews fight to escape their equally doomed ships. When the smoke settles, both galleys have slipped beneath the waves and you and Hakim are desperately clutching to the same piece of uh, flotsam, shouting insult at each other. <laughs> nice. Okay, I hope you're happy now. A day, uh, days of toil and hardship. You drift at sea for what seems like days, until you and Patrician Hakim are finally picked up by a passing galley. Your relief at being rescued is short-lived, however, when the grinning captain announces to his crew, looks like the spider just caught a, a couple of flies. To the sound of cracking whips and a steady drumbeat, you and Hakim are chained and put to work as oarsmen along the other slaves on the pirate galley. The hours pass in a haze as you toil at the oars, and you are nearby, nearly at the point of passing out when Hakim shares his water ration with you. He receives a severe whipping for this, but as the guards are busy with him, you notice that one of the links in your rusty chains looks ready to snap. The ship is passing close to shore, and you could probably make it. So we leap to safety and leave him to die. Interesting. Hmm. If he dies, then a new family will pop up. Huh. Which I'm not sure I actually want. But then again, I mean... What happens if I actually leave with this guy? I don't think there's any way that we can reconcile our differences though. The fact that I imprisoned him and then humiliated him. You know what? We'll just let him die with dignity. Bye. <laughs> Let's not bang this girl. We're good, thanks. Uh, tell me that uh, we have not had any negative modifiers in our location so far. Knock on wood. Hmm... So far, decent. Though I'm not sure if they're in the low priority stuff. It seems that we might be okay, knock on wood. Yes. And she wants to get married. You're trying to tell me that you don't like getting plowed daily, nightly, and ever so rightly. Alright, let's be zealous. Fantastic. Superstitious rule. Oh, right, the event. Alright, forgot about that. Um, can we make sure to give birth to a genius child this time, guys? Thanks. Small stables completed, so now our mansion is actually able to pump out more troops than our uh, top holding here. Fantastic. Alright, so it's not going to cost us too much to build some of this stuff. Sure. Why not? Are you fucking serious? You let my niece and kinswoman die? Oh, you're gonna get it now. Oh, well, um, maybe not in that way. Then maybe betrothal? Nope, okay. Um, can I just mark him for death? No, I'd rather just save that. Ah, dang, habit. Fine, he survives. Nice. Uh oh. Wait, Berbera. Oh, incompetent ruler. Yeah, it's not that big of a malice. And we are no longer in debt. 
I always knew my ambition would help me reach great places and to acquire some wealth during the way is always a nice bonus. Fantastic. Just at the wrong time though. Because if we'd gotten that sooner, then uh, we wouldn't have this incompetent ruler thing. But that's fine, I guess. Alright, keep banging Kunakadevi. Miss, by the time we're done, you're gonna be, um, swarming with babies. Or something, I guess. Hmm, is it safe to leave our retinue out of here? I guess, I mean, I think we have enough, um, divine power to- Whoa! To actually pump out a couple of uh, angry, sweaty assassin dudes. Hmm... Alright, so... We still have a truce with them for another few years. Uh, let's not rush this right now. Maybe they'll just die uh, naturally or something by being assassinated by someone else, which is, of course, a completely natural occurrence, especially in this, um, in this world of ours. Yeah. All right, so, Hakim, you are now 13 years old. Another three years to go. Not too bad, I guess. All right, chasing skirts can be a dangerous business. Jealous husbands, watchful parents, eavesdropping maids, little bastards. By the Lord, it's a wonder I'm still alive. Fantastic. So we are now at Fort Tomcat. Great. And have inherited Najran yet again. All right. Well, who wants Najran? Mm, someone step up to the plate. Whoa, Gurma. Dude, you should be plowing one of my daughters or something. Uh, maybe later. All right, let's see. Let's go with... Najran is already Jewish, so I guess we don't need to worry about that. Let's go with Tay here. Take Naj I guess I don't need to give it away, though, do I? Hmm... We could potentially upgrade this to... Once we get the uh, market town, upgrade this to a city holding. Which may not be a bad idea. Because I can't do that unless I own it myself, right? Hmm... And it's now Ethiopian, too. Interesting. Alright, well, this wouldn't cost too much, so I guess I might as well just hold on to it for the time being. And help it uh, get upgraded and shit. Let's do that now, actually. And we'll leave her a note. Quote that love poetry. Boom jams. Fantastic. Do it again. Uh, what else do we want to build in our mansion? I'm wondering if maybe we should prioritize building trade posts right now. Kind of get up to our max. Alright, then how about we wait for our money to uh, recuperate a little bit, and then we'll uh, get one here. 44 buckaronis a month. Absolutely fantastic. Now, if only China was not undergoing some severe strife. And looks like she's gotten over uh, coughing, unlike Levi, who has now gotten over his life, it seems. Unfucking believable What? Again? Oh, no, that was years ago. Or, I mean, months ago, not... It's fine, don't worry about it. I know the difference between months and years. Shut up. Can we get another genius lady in there? Or, nope. Not one that is, uh, able to birth children. What am I looking for? Oh, right, new steward, because my last one just snuffed it for some reason. Alright, look at this guy. Envious, which isn't great, but he is zealous, um, and also diligent. Hmm. Alright, let's get, uh, this to, I mean... Administrator's not bad. Hmm. I don't know if there's a way for us to stomp out the Envy, though. I guess it's not that big of a deal, though, is it? But once he gets into my territory, that will be somewhat of a deal. Hmm. I really like Diligent and Zealous and a Steward. Humble, Temperate, Chaste, not so much. Maybe we can work on his envy or something. You know what? No, let's just go with this guy. He does have the higher stewardship by two points, so... Sure. We'll let that be our deciding factor. Alright, dude. Welcome to our uh, court. Please try not to die like the uh, previous guy. Um, I don't know what he died from, or how, even, but... He dead, so... Should have uh, watch out for that, I guess. Oh. Uh, it's quite the build time on these buildings. Hmm. And I guess we've had our steward not collecting taxes for the next, uh, in the next, uh, in the uh, previous little while, right? So, if we increase our taxation by 60%, uh, I guess that'll increase the domain, uh, domain stuff, right? Yeah, and 
possibly trade income too? I'm actually not sure if that increases our trade income at all. Huh. Um. Let's see. Local tax modifier. Right, so I'm guessing it doesn't actually affect uh, trade stuff. Though it could be wrong. Uh, whereas this is only useful if I'm actually building stuff in our uh, location here. Mm, I guess we should upgrade some of these things as well. You know what? Sure. Let's go for overseas construction. There you go. Enjoy. But not too much. Modified heresy and wag. Okay, I mean... I guess we do need to work on our... Uh, what's it? Moral authority a little bit. Hmm, so after we... Form, uh... Oh shit, you guys being attacked again? I don't fucking... Oh god. Uh, this one might be a little bit more difficult to beat off. Who's the one that's actually being attacked? Makuria. Okay. So I think we're gonna have to get involved if we want to uh, preserve this place. Otherwise... Oh. Yeah, I guess we can't really do anything if we were to uh, go with the way of diplomacy. And... Akeem is two years away from uh, coming of age. Fantastic. We can change our law this year, November. Gotcha, so let's keep that in mind. And who are these dudes? No idea, but I think they've been in my dungeon for 44 years. Most of her natural law. Good God. <laughs> Holy shit, what happened to this lady? Good grief. Um, okay. So let's see. He's got 13,000 troops. I have... Oh, not bad. 8.45 thousand troops. Uh, so once I pump out a couple of angry, sweaty assassin dudes, we should be evenly matched, more or less. Hmm. This would be a good opportunity to maybe cut this guy down to size a little bit. And just maybe watch his... Uh, oh shit, he took Suwakin. What a bastard. What an absolute bastard. But you know what? I guess it doesn't really make much of a difference because we're going to need to uh, take it anyways through a holy war. Um, okay. He doesn't have any vassals who outright hate him very much. Yes. Let me actually look at this. Hmm. So your strongest vassal is... Oh. Part of our revolt. And this other vassal... Hmm... Kinda does like him a little bit. Yeah, I mean... I'm not sure if we can incite a rebellion. But we could, I guess? Regardless, I'll help you with this fight, I guess. Sure, why not? And, uh... Let's get our boats in tow. Sure. Get in there, folks. And also, troops assemble. Please and thank you. Alright, let's get you guys landed in here, thank you. And... Start gathering... And let me see. Why don't you start gathering, I guess, around... Kasala? Or... I mean, I guess we do need to uh, defend this location, so maybe we should meet up in uh, Napata. And then try to uh, hit these guys up. Oh, no! Uh, we're gonna have to, um... Fine-tune this a little bit. Oh, no, I guess we're okay. As long as we have the big stack, hit them up. There we go. Fantastic. Good grief, sir. How dare you? Alright, angry sweaty assassins, assemble. Thank you. And we can only recruit dudes who are angry and sweaty. Huh. Yeah, if they get there right quick, we're doomed for sure. Hmm, so why don't you guys... Where are you right now? Oh, you're in Masawa. Oh, right, right. The uh, dudes that we dropped off. Gotcha. And Teferi is now married of his own volition. Fantastic. Enjoy, dude. Enjoy. We have 60 boats. Let's get these guys transported across. Thank you. Mm, and then we'll just have to uh, dismiss our boats. Otherwise, they're going to be a drain on our economy. Oh, we can actually afford to uh, keep them around, it seems. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, let me know when they show up. Uh, do you guys just want to maybe attach to my um, troops here? They're neither angry nor sweaty, though some of them will be. Yeah, once we uh, get our assassin troops over there too. All right, get in there, angry sweaty dudes. And we now have a socializing uh, s chancellor type dude, I guess. 
All right, well, uh, let's actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and help this guy defend his territory. And we should actually be at a point where we can finally create our kingdom. Yeah, in just a couple of years. For sure. And then I'll look into possibly upgrading some more stuff here and there. Not exactly sure what, but some stuff. Oh, he now has more troops. What a bastard. Well, thankfully the AI tends to be pretty bad at uh, bunching the troops up and um, attacking uh, concentrated or doing surgical strikes. No, they're just all about throwing floppy pancakes in the shape of dicks at their enemies. Or, I don't know, they do weird stuff. Unless that's your daily routine, then I don't mean to um, kink shame you or anything like that. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!